How did Cole Bennett go from writing blogs about artists in high school to building a multi-million dollar music video company, drink brand, album, and an entire music festival? Well, if it was just about making good music videos, a lot more people would be in the position Lyrical Lemonade is at today. The real reason Cole got his company to where it is today is the way he has been able to present his brand in a way that has never been replicated and probably never will be. In this video, I will be going over the three pillars to Lyrical Lemonade's success and why we may never see another brand like this again. Obviously every brand needs, well, branding, but by having a person heavily associated with this brand and being the main director of it, it's a lot easier to evolve with the style. You can see this heavily represented in the editing and direction of the Lyrical Lemony music videos. However, in the earlier days of Cole's career, I feel like what was so special about these videos was how they felt professional, but at the same time very personal. What I mean is, in the best way possible, these videos felt like they were directed and edited by one person. This was especially prominent in the 2016 to 2017 era of Lyrical Lemonade. I think this spoke to fans of rap, rappers, and creatives because it was both inspiring and encouraging knowing that one person did all of this. I mean, rap has always sort of had a do-it-yourself attitude, from production to visuals, which is a major factor in Lyrical Lemonade's success. This was further pushed by every video having directed by Cole Bennett in the title of all the music videos on the channel, but they have since removed this from every video, most likely due to Cole taking a step away from directing, wanting to venture more into the film world, having AMD Visuals be the first ever other director on the Lyrical Lemonade channel. But back to the DIY style, Cole has created. If you search on YouTube how to edit like Cole Bennett, there will be countless tutorials with so many different videos from Cole's time at Lyrical Lemonade. And a key factor to why this happens is not just because you can do a lot of these effects relatively easily with enough editing experience, but also because Cole himself has admitted to learning a lot of his stuff from YouTube. These effects Cole has learned over the years have also just made these videos very entertaining and engaging to watch. While as the brand grew, so did the budgets, I feel like the videos still have kept Cole's creative and fun touch. I think he really helped solidify this when he did a series of six music videos videos all shot on iPhone about a year ago. In the playlist description for the series, Cole says, a DIY project I did to get me back to the basics. This was not sponsored or funded by Apple. Which I think was great to show like, hey, you could be doing the same stuff this very wealthy director who owns a multi-million dollar company is doing with just what's in your pocket and a passion for creativity. This style has also made its way into the merch for the company, as besides the merch with just the logo on it, most of the clothing for the brand has some sort of hand-drawn elements to it, really playing into the creativity DIY style of the brand. The entire style of Cole's brand held a certain fun and creative personality to it, almost reflecting his own personality. And this also carried over into the artists that Cole made music videos for. Which brings me to the second pillar for Lyrical Lemonade's success curation. In 2015 to 2017, the new wave of rap was emerging like never before. And with this new wave emerging, came lots of different ways to find out about these artists. The most notable at the time being SoundCloud. But Lyrical Lemonade was quickly becoming another platform to be discovered. While SoundCloud was just basically an underground Spotify at the time, Lyrical Lemonade was different in the fact that you could showcase your music paired with an extremely unique and talented director. Plus, before that, even when Cole first started Lyrical Lemonade, with plenty of blogs and shows putting on new artists. Lyrical Lemonade quickly grew to the mainstream, but not all the artists on Lyrical Lemonade had reached that point in their career yet. So at this point, Cole had become a trusted hip hop tastemaker at the time. Cole helped put many artists in the limelight, including Lil Pump, Trippy Red, and Ski Mask of Slump God. But in the later years, once Cole was trusted in the game, he was no stranger to giving artists that were popular at the time the best music videos as well. Artists like Post Malone, Eminem, and even eventually Kanye West were all artists that got videos directed by Cole. However, an important thing to note is that Cole always prefers that the song releases with the music videos so the viewer can have their first experience of the music with his visuals. So lots of these music videos of seemingly popular songs, for example Lil Tecca's Ransom, was a complete gamble for Cole as he released the video the same day as the song. And Ransom ended up being Tecca's first and biggest hit, which I believe in part was due to Cole's vision and the platform he provided Tecca. This music taste making doesn't just stop at music videos for Cole, as just a year prior to the Ransom music video, Cole held his first annual Summer Smash, originally a one day outdoor festival in Douglas Park, has continued to one up itself every year with an extremely stacked lineup, with plenty of these artists having worked with Cole in the past. Yeet being one of these artists on the lineup has showed the effect of a Cole Bennett connection with an extremely random collab back in 2022. This was when the first Minion movie was going to come out, and Illumination reached out to Cole to find someone to write a song to promote the movie. Cole pitched the idea of Yeet, and they were hesitant at first, as well, Yeet may not be the most kid-friendly artist, but they did it. The product of this was the song Rich Minion, which ended up generating one of the best internet memes in the past years, the Gentle Minions trend, where everyone would post themselves going to watch some minions in suits and the Rich Minion song was playing. As it helped bring Lyrical Lemonade's audience, which consists of a lot of kids who grew up with the original Despicable Me series, to re-immerse themselves in the movies in an ironically serious way. The entire vibes of the Minion movie closely resemble Lyrical Lemonade's brand image 
image, specifically through the use of bright colors and fun visuals, which is the third pillar to Lyrical Lemonade's success, branding. Like I mentioned earlier, style and branding work together, but are also their own separate fields. Style is what adds personality to the brand. Branding is what creates the overall perception and feel of the brand. Lyrical Lemonade's branding has stayed pretty close to its original image way back even when it started. I mean, the iconic Cardin logo that you still see to this day was something Cole made when he first started the blog website. We see this logo on every thumbnail and music video for Lyrical Lemonade, as well as plenty of merch drops and collabs. The Cardin had become sort of an icon in hip-hop history, not only representing the brand of Lyrical Lemonade, but the idea of it. By choosing these bright colors and the playful name, Cole was able to not only easily display what his brand is about, but keep it in a positive and playful light. I talk a lot about color psychology on this channel, but it's for a good reason because it plays a very important role in what you think about a brand. Yellow is really a color associated with happiness, which I think is largely in part due to the iconic yellow smiley face. And lemonade is often thought of as a summertime drink, which encapsulated not just the vibes Cole brought to the music videos, but also the vibes the artists he put on Lyrical Lemonade brought to their music. This is bled over into his style of music videos. Even when it's a darker song, the video often contains a fair amount of bright elements and tones. Going back to the Minions collab, the playful vibes Lyrical Lemonade brought to the rap game now was something the Minions brought to us as kids. Uh, okay, okay, maybe, maybe that's a stretch. But both the Minions and Lyrical Lemonade its main color being yellow really did help to keep that collaboration cohesive. They also did another collaboration with Lil Yachty as well as Tiso Touchdown for the new Despicable Me movie. Okay, so tell me, what are you looking for in a theme song? And while no trends came out of these songs, the visuals delivered as usual, this time under both Cole Bennett and AMD Visual's creative minds. This iconic Lyrical Lemonade Yellow was probably used best in Cole's most ambitious project, All Is Yellow. The first, and at this point, only album by Lyrical Lemonade. There is a cohesive theme throughout the music videos for this album with a yellow curtain, seemingly connecting the worlds of these artists, as well as every artist wearing a suit with a yellow tie, which Cole getting Chief Keef in a suit might have been the most impressive part of this entire thing. I'd also like to just give a big shout out to some of the artists on this team that have helped contribute to the amazing visuals for this album. Obviously there are a lot more, but these are just some artists that I've really been liking since the project. That's also another great thing about the Lyrical Lemonade brand, is the emphasis they have on creatives. Everything from proving that you can create videos too with just your iPhone, to the credits in every video description as well as at the end of the video. I feel like often artists don't credit creatives, and while I'm sure there are some sort of good reasons for it at some point, the great thing Cole does with the credits at the end of the Lyrical Lemonade videos is that he still makes sure that they match the style of the video. So if you're an artist watching this, I'd encourage you to credit your creatives as it makes you look good and can help them get more work and it, it just doesn't hurt. They often say to succeed, you need to be the first, the best, or different. And Lyrical Lemonade ended up being all three. Cole Bennett's visual marketing skills helped him to exceed above any other music video director blog writer or music curator at the time by not only being in an epicenter of the underground scene at the time, but by knowing exactly what he wanted from his brand. I believe there may never be a brand quite like Lyrical Lemonade, as it has made its staple as the place any artist aspires to be featured on and would be a dream job for most creatives in the industry. The beauty of it is, Cole doesn't care about being at the top. While it's a nice plus, Lyrical Lemonade's success was mostly due to the passion of Cole Bennett and his team, as well as the extremely cohesive brand presented with the art being produced. And all of the style, curation, and branding was what helped Lyrical Lemonade stand out from other creatives in the industry. I guess you could say, Cole Bennett is one in a minion. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Will there be another brand like Lyrical Lemonade? How has Lyrical Lemonade shifted hip-hop culture? What's next for the brand and Cole? Let me know in the comments, and uh, thanks for watching and keep evolving.